Hi there, I'm the Neuromuscular Mechanic, and today we're going to be talking about sacroiliac joint injections, or SI joint injections. Like all my videos to date, the images that you see are of my body, of my SI joint. So what do we use these injections for? So main indications would be for mechanical back pain uh, as a diagnostic and therapeutic tool, and certainly in those cases where we have sacro um, iliac joint arthritis, like sacroiliitis with seronegative spondyloarthropathies. So what checklist do I go through? So when I do an injection, I go through the patient position, transducer, surface localization for my ultrasound probe to start, structures to identify on pre-scan, and how to get to my target. And so we'll go through this checklist before we look at ultrasound videos. So the ideal patient position um, is prone. Um, so we have them on their stomach, try to make them as comfortable as possible. The next part is the transducer. So because the SI joint is often deep, we're needing to use a low frequency curvilinear probe. If the person has a thinner body habitus, then I will try to use the high frequency probe. With surface localization, I put my probe in transverse plane over the spinous process of the lumbar vertebrae to start, and then I translate that probe distally until the sacral cornea are appreciated, and these are easy to identify. Once I have this identified, I will translate my probe laterally until I appreciate the lateral sacrum. And then from there, I will move the probe cephalad until the joint is visualized. Now, sometimes I have to move it both cephalad as well as rotating the probe such that the lateral aspect of the probe is going more cranially. And then the next part is what do I have to identify on my pre-scan? So I want to identify the sacral foramina because I want to avoid these when I inject and they could look very similar to the SI joint if you're not careful. And then once I've identified my target, the SI joint, I'm typically bringing my needle in from medial to lateral in plane. And because of the depth of the SI joint, um, I'm going to need to use a spinal needle. So we're going to get here started here shortly. Um, so here we go. We have the ultrasound in transverse plane over the back. And here I've identified the spinous process of the lumbar vertebrae. So you see that nice hyperechoic bony landmark with that posterior acoustic shadowing. So what I'm shortly going to do is I'm going to take that ultrasound probe and now I'm going to translate distally. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going distally, keeping it in the midline. I'm going further and further down, further, further, and I'm going to sort of stop here. And so there are the sacral horns or the sacral uh, cornea. So I'm now really at the inferior aspect of the sacrum. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to move the ultrasound probe. Um, I'm going to translate it laterally. Um, so we'll restart the clip here again. Here's the sacral cornea. And then what I'm doing here is I'm translating that probe laterally, sort of at the same level. And so there is my sacrum. So from here, I'm going to then move the probe cephalad, cranially. And so in a minute here, so here we go. We're moving that probe a little bit more cranially, and we're just going to stop right there. So you see this area, this sort of gap. That is the sacral uh, foramen. And it's lateral, or sorry, medial to the sacroiliac joint. And in a second here, I'm going to move the probe just a little bit more laterally to identify that sacroiliac joint. So here we go. So moving the probe slightly laterally. And th there we go. Um, what I also had to do there was I did have to rotate the lateral aspect of the probe more cranially. But there I've identified my sacroiliac joint. I could bring my needle in plane with the arrow there. And there on the left screen is the sacrum. On the right is the ilium. And so you can see it can be very easy to sort of mistake the sacral foramen for the SI joint. But it lies lateral to the foramen. Um, and so that's how you could approach uh, the injection. So I'm the Neuromuscular Mechanic, uh, and I hope you found today's video handy. Take care.